plants, people, pets. Oh, yes. Got to walk out for all of it. Anything alive we need to take care of. And especially uh, we want to look after people most assuredly. Derek? Absolutely, yeah. You want to look after everybody and everything in this kind of high heat and humidity. The good news is tomorrow and Wednesday, that's it. The rest of the week, the weekend, and most of the next week, we will not be talking about this anymore. Things are going to get back to normal. First alert, Doppler radar tracking some storms that flared up earlier this afternoon, and they did go severe. Some damaging winds across parts of Carroll County as well as northern Baltimore County. Now things have started to settle down a little bit. We are looking at some downpours, though, right along, uh, looks like a really through parts of Anne Arundel County here. So we're talking just north of Annapolis, uh, right along 50. They're heading out towards the west uh, into central parts of the county. Also some other areas of light showers through southeast Baltimore County here. So Bully's Quarters getting some showers up towards Perry Hall and Essex just east of there. Uh, Jarrettsville right now seeing a downpour. That's the leftover from that storm in Carroll County uh, that brought those strong winds. But it looks like there will be still a chance through the next couple of hours, especially for areas east of I-95. But after that, Looks like things will be quiet here overnight tonight. More storms, though, are on the way here for tomorrow. And then as we go into your Wednesday, that's going to be the last day of the high heat and humidity. More storms then, and then things start to calm down a little bit as we get towards the end of the week as far as the temperatures are concerned. But we tied a record high this afternoon at 102 degrees, last set back in 1995. Where it's been raining, where we've had storms around, it's cooled off a little bit. Temperatures down to 81 for College Park, 94 at BWI Thurgood Marshall after that 102 degree high this afternoon. 79 right now for uh, Bel Air and 78 for Perry Hall. So you get the idea there. Those storms really kind of overturning the atmosphere and helping to cool things off. Heat index, though, especially over on the eastern shore in northeast Maryland, running over 100 degrees. So it's going to be a muggy night. Storm chances gradually winding down. Looks like maybe an isolated shower through about sunset a little bit after that. And then once we get that out of the way, we should be in for a quiet night across the region. But we're looking upstream. This is the next storm system that's going to bring us high chances for rain coming up on Wednesday afternoon. Now, tomorrow we're going to have another severe threat similar to what we had today. Best chances parts of central and western Maryland and the slight risk level two of five damaging wind gusts, the most likely threat as well as some heavy rainfall, frequent lightning, as well as isolated large hail instances. But uh, overall, it looks like again that threat is going to be about a two out of five. So not a significant threat, but something we're going to be watching. Then on Wednesday, level one of five. This will probably be upgraded at some point, at least parts of it as that front makes its way into the region. We expect numerous to storms to develop during the afternoon. So again, we'll get those out of the way here for this evening. Dry overnight, more storms will flare up tomorrow afternoon, but not before temperatures crank up to over 100 degrees. Once again, we're expecting a high around 102 here in Baltimore for tomorrow, but high temperatures right around 100 here through Wednesday with the heat index 105 to 110. Again, we're expecting those heat indices to be higher tomorrow afternoon in that 105 to 110 degree range. So we're 110 degree range. So we're expecting again another excessive heat warning here for tomorrow. Baltimore County, we're expecting highs right around 100 degrees. So Pikesville, Cockeysville, Timonium, all getting up to around 100 degrees. Catonsville and Arbutus. And for Hartford County, we're looking at upper 90s for Abingdon as well as Bel Air, Jar Jarrettsville. And last but not least, Anne Arundel County, same story. Highs into the upper 90s near 100 degrees. Severn tomorrow getting up to 101. 102 here in Baltimore. Again, that'll be too shy of a record. Record tomorrow is 104, but still hot nonetheless. Alert day for storms and high heat on Wednesday. And then we start cooling things off. Back to normal later in the week. Back to you.